beautiful people welcome back to our channel and thank you so much for joining the channel today so guys let's talk about this news that i saw there is a trending news that i saw and it's coming from the uk and i want us to address it and look at how possible or maybe solutions or give possible solutions to those who are still to move to the uk because when i saw the news it wasn't good so i decided that okay let me talk about it so if you didn't see it or if you don't understand what i'm talking about few days back i saw a group of students protesting because uh, they were expelled from a uk university the reason for the school to expel them or let me say they were withdrawn or no they didn't withdraw but the school in fact they removed them from the school right which means that they are no longer students they cannot attend lectures they cannot do anything in fact within some time they might be illegal if the situation is not controlled with care so i saw this and i wasn't happy and i understand how it is but again please there are certain things we want to say like i said the reason for them to be removed from the school is they didn't pay their tuition on time the name of the school i won't say it here and the school had to redraw remove them now the students were on their own part complaining because of so many things and i will just talk about one of the major reasons why they were complaining that it's because of that reason they could not pay their tuition and the main reason was because of the money devaluing or the naira issues most of them were from nigeria but not every international students among them were most of them were coming from africa let me put it this way so now they were complaining that because the currency is weak now the naira to pounds ratio the cfa to pound ratio the whatever currency but they were complaining mostly because of the currency uh, rate now this is what i want to say i was talking to a nigerian back i think few days ago more than i think six or seven days like that and we spoke he booked a one-on-one -on -one call with me and we talked he was preparing and i told him looking at his files i advised him to move to the netherlands but on in my brain i forgot i totally forgot the issues with the currency now in nigeria the naira to euros or a currency right now because even as i'm talking to you naira is very poor compared to cfa cameroon money nigerian naira is very poor compared to cameroon money so cameroon money has more power now than the nigerian naira so we, when we were talking i forgot to explain to this guy it was when i later realized it then i did some calculations the money i was telling him to budget for that particular school to apply to the school to move to the netherlands because remember i always say it here visa rate to the netherlands is at least 99.99 the reason is because when you gain admissions it is the university that is going to apply for your visa but before they apply for your visa you have to pay your entire tuition fee plus living cost money plus medical insurance money for one year plus visa application fee into the school's account until this money is deposited into their account before they can do the visa application on your behalf so when we spoke and we look at various options he told me how much it i think he was talking about um, 14 million naira something like that then i told him and i told him what to do to increase the money but at the end of the day when i did my calculation i noticed that instead of the money now this guy will be needing like maybe uh, close to like 30 million naira that's too much money so i went back to him and i said oh this is what we did and we, we forgot about the currency so you see those students in the uk now most of them might have left nigeria and or maybe cameroon and they were thinking that okay when it's time i'm going to pay maybe 10 million naira but now calculating pounds to naira 100 100 and uh, 1900 naira now is one pound imagine one pound and i was doing some calculation it looks like 1000 pounds is like close to 2 million and some of them they are going to be paying 10,000 pounds, 11,000 pounds, 12,000 pounds. Imagine 
it means you have to multiply one by it, it means that if somebody was supposed to pay ten thousand pounds right they are now going to pay which was initially maybe around one uh, 10 million they will now be paying like 20 million it's not possible to get that so i felt really bad for them but it is what it is you know ignorance sometimes these schools they don't care you have to pay the money because they have to pay staffs and they work on uh, let me say laws and orders you understand so i really don't blame them so this is where i want to come in to those who are still to move please when you are looking at the uk to me if you come to me for advice and you say you have fifteen thousand pounds now i will tell you to look for means and go maybe to a good european country like denmark germany right the netherlands maybe sweden or switzerland right there are other good countries out there in europe the reason is because uk that we know back then is not the uk now recently i know some people two girls who got this sponsorship visa and went to the uk they are not able to get jobs till after like six months then i know some other person who wanted to move to the uk through the same route but she refused and later left for canada right because she was afraid that if she goes to the uk she will not have job i understand most of us we are studying because we want to get jobs we want to better our families we want to stay back and hustle because of all these things to better ourselves but the uk is not the place it used to be guys if you really think that you want to go to the uk please this is the first thing you should do prepare yourself properly then when you gain admissions to any school pay the deposit they are asking then before you move make sure you have money for your first two semesters if you have the money fine if you don't have it i would not advise you to go to the uk because the first two semesters are short when you are in school you will not be able you are going to work just part-time now how much would 700 pounds 800 pounds do to you if you are moving with the intention that you will work all your money in the uk and pay your tuition before you know it would not be possible right so our advice even if you do not have money for your complete when you pay the first deposit have the other money because you have to pay it before you enroll then have the money for your complete one semester or even one year then when you go in you get your documents your paper pass ready you start hustling and saving for the upcoming years you understand what i mean this way i can support you to go but if you ask my opinion if you do not have money after doing the deposit and you don't have any other money to pay for first semester please i will not advise you to go to the uk you may consider other countries where you can afford remember you are paying this money in pounds and if at the end of the day you are not able to get these huge amounts of money it's a big problem a very big problem to you now i would like to say again that if you intend to move to the uk avoid expensive schools that's my rule number one then secondly do not be going to the uk that you want to depend on jobs to pay your first tuition deposit because you might not do it remember when you are new to a new country you have to get adapted to the culture you have to get adapted to the people you need to make friendships for them to connect you because connection abroad is very important yes also many of you are forgetting that uk is not more in the european union i had a similar case of something i'm not going to mention the case here because it's sensible but i feel for that guy i actually remember telling the guy that had it been uk was in the european union i would have advised him to go to germany or maybe take any other country but now it's not in the european union it makes it difficult right it makes it so difficult for many people to navigate so you have to put this into consideration i equally i was talking to somebody that his school was in northern ireland i was telling him that it is not in europe right he didn't understand guys there are two irelands all right we have ireland which is in the european union okay that one is the only english speaking country in the european union and we have one which is found in the uk remember uk is made up of wales uh, scotland uh the other people is northern ireland and uh, other people i'm forgetting this one i'm talking about is in the european union and the only english-speaking country in the european union right if you have money i always encourage people that if they have money to go to ireland they should go because the, the tuition there is expensive but again the, the procedures are flexible you are going to get 
your, your post-study work visa, you can transition from direct employment to permanent residency. It's possible. I know people who abandoned express entry for Canada and they are now citizens in Ireland. Yeah, Ireland pays well. For me, for you to move to the UK, please go to Ireland. This is my advice for you. And again, let's talk about these expensive countries. If you don't have enough money, these are the places you should look at. Look at Lithuania, look at Latvia, look at Slovakia, look at Romania. Romania is now a member of the European Union. Yes, look at Austria. You can actually, because Austria is one of the most expensive among these people I just list to you now, but you can use the money you want to process Austria because Austria will need you to put money in your bank account. And sometimes the embassy can tell you to transfer it to Austria. Now you can transfer the money, but the schools, they are very cheap. 726 euros. You are good to go for Austrian schools, right? Yes, there are schools in Lithuania you can pay 2,500 per, per semester or per year. It's cheaper than the UK, right? You may be saying that, okay, Latvia, Slovakia, Romania, they are smaller countries. They are not good places. They may not be, they may not have enough jobs. Yes, that is how much you have. You need to look for where you can afford. Go there first. You start from there. But if you think that you have enough money to go to these big places like the UK, the Netherlands, fine and good. But you should always remember that it's always good to move when you already have your tuition fee at hand. I was telling one guy who wanted to go to the Netherlands, the procedure for the Netherlands is good because they, first of all, when you give them the money, they will first of all remove their tuition fee before giving you back the balance when you enter into the Netherlands. So that's why they are keeping it that way. They don't want issues. They don't want complications at the end of the day. They will take the money from you, your tuition fee, your living cost money, your insurance and your visa fee, then do your visa application for you. Then when you come in, they will remove the attrition, remove insurance, remove visa fee, then give you the balance, your living costs. Okay, so you must always study no matter what because they have collected the attrition. So the system in the Netherlands is better. Guys, if you have some money, try to look into these places because it's the best. I understand most of us, we are just trying to make life good for ourselves and we are struggling to put our families in a better position. But again, please try to avoid places like the UK. Pounds is not anybody's mate, guys. Yeah, when you are working and earning in pounds, you may be happy and jubilating. But looking at this situation now, it is not going to be funny if you find yourself in such... Imagine if these guys are deported back. It is a big blow for their families families so please consider all these things and do not joke with them till we meet again in another 